Hello there everyone and welcome to my channel. Um, I'm going to be doing Zelda Breath of the Wild today and I will start off with doing the shrines. That'll be my main focus today. And then on the Great Plateau, and then I'll I'll do all the other bits and bobs on a couple of separate videos. So hopefully I get it right this time. I have to start a new game because I keep I have to keep altering the video and encoder settings. So I'm sure help everyone is doing um enjoying the weather and you know, everything's good Open your eyes. Open your eyes. Wake up, Link. Is a Sheikah slate. Take it. It will help guide you after your long slumber. I'll just collect the main things for now. Um, I won't read the text boxes because it'll take me too long otherwise. <clears throat> I'll just press the plus button now and equip. The trousers on the top. Um, I know it's only got a small base rate of, of protection, but it's better than nothing. Slate up to the pedestal. That will show you the way.
Link, you are the light. Our light. That must shine upon Hyrule once again. Now go. First things first, I'm just going to collect a few things around here. to crouch you know to the trees so I can collect these these beetles grills are going mad I've just got to do the monotonous um, initial box, initial talking to him and Don't, I just hope I don't have to redo this again. I'll avoid Koroks and everything. Um, Link. Head for the point marked on the map in your Sheikah Slate. Thank <laughs> you. 
looking for a fish. Or a little frog. That's my first death. <laughs> oh well. <laughs> oh well, there you go. Bit of comedy for you. Won't be doing that again. Just check I've still got my fish. Yeah, cool. While I'm here, I'm going to collect a lot of parts, a lot of things. Oh well, miss them. I need them for now. Quickly change the trousers. I know I should go in there first, but yeah, okay, I'll go in there first.
I know I'll have to come up here three times, but that doesn't matter. I just want the bow. I'm just getting basic stuff for now. Used to tears of the kingdom.
I'll try and skip as much dialogue boxes as I can. These steps are a bit of a pain in the backside. Uh, I've seen myself and many others fall. <laughs> Okay, what are you going to show me? I have to walk as slow as you. <laughs> Ginormous bird in the distance there. We go to this uh, shrine.
I'll just collect what's in front of me at the moment and then I'll collect everything in another video. Don't worry if you can hear banging out in the background, it's uh, bin day tomorrow. People are putting, obviously putting the recycling bins out. Oh, I'll get this chest first. Um, you only get chests like that if you bought the the DLC pack. Okay. I'll watch the. I'll show the first shrine. Oh, the other ones I'll skip. Whenever you come into any of these shrines on the Great Plateau, we'll obviously go to this podium first. Everything to do with the runes is just pressing L to use. When you get multiple ones, use the up and down arrow, the up arrow on the on the D-pad. It doesn't matter which of these doors you choose, you can just move it forward and whatever. Throw the door out of the way. With, with this one, um, I'm just going to grab this part and I'm going to use it to, on the D-pad to push all these out of the way using the right analog stick. And I can jump over. With this one, just press the L button because you, you can pick anything up that's anything up that's bright pink, and it it'll turn yellow when you can move it. And just make sure the shadow lines up both sides, and then drop it with the right analog stick, and then press B to let it go. And you'll come across plenty of treasure chests in shrines as well. Well, one or two, possibly three. So wait for it to highlight yellow and you can use magnesis to bring it back with the, the d-pad down, bring it toward you and then open it. And then do the same thing with these doors, doesn't matter which one, just... and then collect your spirit orb.
I mean, as, as you go through the game, you'll you'll need four spirit orb for either heart or stamina section that you need. Um, I mean, this is the worst part of doing this. It takes ages. Obviously, it's the introduction to the game, so. Funny for you, is it? Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> so basically, just press the right analog stick and press A to place a pin on the on the scope. So I already kind of know where all the shrines are anyway, but you press. Oh, sugar. Oh, right analog stick. And then press A to, a to pin a shrine. Then I'll do the same for that one over there. And the same for that one. So now what I've got to do <laughs> is do the very long-winded climbing down again. I could teleport to the other shrine, but I don't see the point. It makes me further away. And so what I'll do is go towards the, the red pin on the map. Like I say, I'm trying to travel there as quickly as possible without running stamina down. Oh, decide to climb, why not? I won't, I won't collect all the parts with these guardians because I'm not strong enough to fight. No, I'm not confident enough to fight the that guardian there or the other ones. So I'll try and avoid the best I can. I'll just quickly jump over this wall by climbing. And I've only got one shield.
Okay, same method as before. Let's go to this pad, this podium. Obviously, you've got round bombs for round purposes, and obviously square ones. They don't roll, but sometimes on flips and stuff they will. Um, they'll roll down, but they'll come to a stop. The blue, the, the round ones will just continue rolling. Ready for L. Press R to throw. Oh, wrong way. So we'll pick it up again. Press L to throw it, um, to blow it up. You could also you could also use the square bombs as well, which actually I might use now for the next bit as well. I'll go to this, place it, and then run back, and then blow it up as it gets there. Uh, change back to circle bombs again. Um, go to this first one because it's got a chest, so I can actually throw, get myself thrown over there like that. The middle one is just an example. Right. I'll just wait for that to go in. And then I can wait for it to buy it. And then press L again. You can always, you can always check on the map as well to see if you've collected all the shrines. Um, collected all the treasure chests in the shrine. I'll just skip all this again. Because I've, I've still got to try and cook a meal to get the, the warm doublet for the next two shrines. Which the, the old man will tell you about if you go around the map the other way around. But I do it the easy way. Well, the quicker way. Because... I'm doing all the shrines in this, so leaves me forever cooking food. Actually, I might go just go this way. <laughs> um, <clears throat> and there's a chest there as well. I'll get that if you've got the DLC. A nice little Nintendo Switch shirt. Got to figure out how to get out of there now without getting. S okay. First thing I'm gonna do is collect the next two ingredients for the meal. 
as you know, it's meat and seafood stir fry or something, whatever it's called. Oh, I'll get the peppers from his house actually. Then all I need to do is kill a boar. Because if you come here, if you come to here first, then I'll leave all these for now. So I'm going the right way, I hope. Yeah, I'll collect a few peppers that are in here. Cut these as well. No, no, I just need, I just need to go to the woods now. Down. I'll collect everything else. Obviously, like I say in the next episodes. I'm just collecting the bare minimum now. I'll avoid these guys. Let's go back round to the Temple of Time. Might as well get these peppers while I'm here. I've actually I've gone too far, I don't know. I'm not I won't be going this way this time. I just want the peppers. Keep forgetting I haven't got a paraglider yet. <laughs> yeah, I'm going the right way. Actually I'll go this way. I just wanted to avoid them, but I'll just run through them. Gotta be very careful down here, so I don't scare the, the boar. So I can get to the other two shrines. I, I can't. Oh, trust you two. Go away. Damn. I got no chance of hitting it while it's running like that. Other people are better than me at this, obviously, but. Got him. Cool. I can go make the meal now. May as well get another one while I'm there. And what I'll do now, I'll go over here to this fire. Hopefully the old man will be there. Right, I'll use an arrow.
I'll collect the three ingredients. Just fish, pepper, meat. And this is where he'll give me the cold thingy. Mm. And now I'll put that on. And now I can go towards the other two shrines. There's many a different ways to get there, but I'm really trying to avoid a certain enemy. Like I say, I'm, I'm going to avoid as many fights as I can. Bit better. I'm not even attacking these. doing the fights in this one. Like before, you just move the platform. Try to get it in line with these holes. Not like that. <laughs>
may seem I'm going the long way, but I'm not. Well, other people will say I am, but... Just watch out for these snowballs around this corner. Somewhere. I'm the, I'm, I know I'm stuttering when I'm running, it's just I'm trying to keep the... I'm trying to stop running out of stamina. <laughs> Snowballs will come now, I think. Yeah. This one's just uh, where you create a, a pillar of ice and you can climb it, but logic doesn't make sense, but you know, it's just a game, so I think everything makes sense. using amiibos until um, I've done the straight plateau so I think I've done that too far. Oh, no, that was alright. I just about made it. Just make sure you get as close to the as you can. With this just do half and half and a bit of lift the gate for you. Half and half underneath. Or as close as you can get, as long as it lifts it up. I wasn't going to show you that yet, but... <laughs> That's sort of where you parry. You have pressing the shield button and then pressing the A button. Um, just as the, the bullets just the well, the attack is just about to hit you. Oh don't blink. I'm pressing X and you just won't jump. Thank you. Similar thing. All you have to do is flip one side. And then just turn your camera as you're running round. The further you go into the game, the more challenging the shrines. But luckily, I'll walk through all those puzzles and I'll explain everything as I get to them and as I've done them. Okay, one more shrine left now. Always look down to see whether it's a, a hill that you can run down or... Oh, oh well. I knew that it would get me one day. I'm just run towards the last shrine now. Oh, got to wait for stamina to get back now. Oh well. I'm trying to do these shrines as quick as possible because I'm already at one hour at the moment. On my on my recording clock anyway. 
where my editor comes in, it might, she might shorten it for me. I don't know. For all the encouragement and support that she's shown, and her mum, you know, it's, it's meant the world to me. Probably going round in random circles here, but I'm just trying to get to that blue purple, blue marker, whatever colour it is. Probably took the very long way of doing it. I know I don't, I don't talk much about the, the game and the surrounding. Um, I feel that they've been covered in other people's videos and I don't really want to copy or be a clone of anyone else. So, I thought I'd do this my way. Yeah, always make sure you look down so you can see whether your stamina might be just enough. To, um, you only have to get nearly to the bottom and then you can just drop because it won't hurt you as much. Any higher than where that dent is in the rock, you might end up with um, damage. So I'll just drop from here, I should be okay. So just slide down, turn the camera around and then boom, here we go. The last, the last power on the last ability that you get on the Great Plateau. Skip all these. I mean, obviously, all these pa all these abilities, you use them throughout and during, you know, your gameplay, and they really come in handy. Well, necessary, should I say? You actually need them. And then obviously I'll do the, I'll do all the divine beasts and everything else. Um, a couple of side quests in there, necessary ones, in order to get like shrine quests and stuff. Right, to complete them, should I say? This one stays as it, it just means that you can pause a an object's movement. Um, it helps in many ways to. Right, so I wait for this to turn green, and then I can. When that goes flat, that platform, press A, and it will do that. Then obviously you've got a timer for how long it works. I don't know how long for, but. Right here, um, I'll go up and see if I can pause this ball halfway. I oh, know. Oh, thought I was gonna try and sneak behind it. Ah, finally I got another shield. I'll wait for the next ball to drop, then I'll run after it's going down the hill. Now, this one's a bit different than stopping things. Well, it is stopping things, but... Um, oh. 
Um, Quit this white ledge armor. I set the time on this and then just hit it, and that'll when the time starts again, all that force that you put onto it, it will fly away. And then that's the last shrine can be done. Basically, if you if you put a line in between all the shrines, you you'll you will come to the middle point of where the Temple of Time is. So if you if you cross that one with that one, and this bottom one with the top one, they'll all meet here at the Temple of Time. So the closest one for me would be Shrine of Resurrection. And when I've done this bit, my next video will start off here in the Shrine of Resurrection. I always use this as a starting point. So I'll just get there as quick as I can, because obviously the cutscene is very, very long. But I'll leave it in because I'm not going to cut it out. <laughs> Computers having a go at me because I can't keep up. It's one of the latest computer and it still can't keep up. Oh no! Nearly fell down. Didn't want to. Right. I'll come in here to. The Hylia, Queen Hylia's statue, um, these shrines, um, shrines, orbs. And I'm, I'm going to be selecting hearts for the first quite a few shrines that I do. Because um, I can do majority of the game at the beginning with just one. The wheel of stamina. Some people rather stamina over hearts, but I prefer to get the hearts. It's just for a safety net, you know, it's just in case, so I don't get overwhelmed by enemies and stuff in future battles. I'm 
let's go. Th this is the second time that I need to go. I'm going to say before, three times on top of here. Um, this is the second time. The third time is obviously going to be in the third video for when I do the Corox. And then I'll let this cutscene play and I now won't say anything in the cutscene. <laughs> well done there, young one. Now then, the time has come to show you who I truly am. I was King Rome Bosphoramus Hyrule. I was the last leader of Hyrule. A kingdom which no longer exists. <sighs> the Great Calamity was merciless. It devastated everything in its path, lo, a century ago. It was then that my life was taken away from me. And since that time, here I have remained in spirit form. I did not think it wise to overwhelm you while your memory was still fragile. So rather than that, I thought it best to assume a temporary form. Forgive me. I think you are now ready. Ready to hear what happened 100 years ago. Princess was my own daughter, my dear Zelda. And the courageous knight who protected her right up to the very end. That knight was none other than you, Link. You fought valiantly when your fate took an unfortunate turn. And then you were taken to the Shrine of Resurrection. Here you now stand, revitalized 100 years later. The words of guidance you have been hearing since your awakening are from Princess Zelda herself. Even now, as she works to restrain Ganon from within Hyrule Castle, she calls out for your help. However, my daughter's power will soon be exhausted. Once that happens, Ganon will freely regenerate himself, and nothing will stop him from consuming our land. Considering that I could not save my own kingdom, I have no right to ask this of you, Link. But I am powerless here. You must save her, my daughter, and do whatever it takes to annihilate Ganon. Somehow, Ganon has maintained control over all four divine beasts, as well as those guardians swarming around Hyrule Castle. I believe it would be quite reckless for you to head directly to the castle at this point. I suggest that you make your way east out to one of the villages in the wilderness. Follow the road out to Kakariko village. There you will find the elder Impa. She will tell you more about the path that lies ahead. Consult the map on your Sheikah slate for the precise location of Kakariko village. Make your way past the twin summits of the dueling peaks. From there, follow the road as it proceeds north. Hmm. Okay, now what I'm going to do, I'm just going to transport myself back to the Great Plateau, yeah. So that's the thing then. 
and I'll be starting the video from that point in the next couple of videos. So I can collect and collect stuff and chests and then collect Korok's in the third video. I'll, I'll leave an entire episode just for Korok's. I really hope that I've done a, really, a, a good video and it wouldn't be my first time, you know, I'm quite nervous as well. I can't thank the support I've received in to be able to achieve this, especially from the very close friends especially my editor. She worked her, her butt off to do this and you know she both of them are very proud of me. Yeah I'll, I hope everyone has a really great day or night or whichever time it is and yeah I look forward to seeing you all in the next one figuratively not literally. I hope you enjoy yourself. Okay. You can either you can like comment or subscribe if you choose to um, because making this content has always been my dream and thank you so much for your time and i'll see you in the next one